Hello everyone, I am Ardhin Dude. You are watching Edis English Literature. Here in, in our today's discussion, we are heading straight into John Milton's Paradise Lost. We are rather discussing here how to approach M Milton's Paradise Lost. I am in fact going to carry out a detailed analysis of this literary piece for the best studies for competitive exams and how you can prepare the very text of Milton's Paradise Lost for your comprehension and for your preparation for the upcoming exams. John Milton's indebtedness to earlier poetry in his use of epic convention is the greatest exhibition he has done. His magnificent Paradise Lost is considered to be the first epic poem in the English language derived from the theme of Bible. John Milton here modified classical epic conventions of invocation in the first 26 lines of Paradise Lost book 1. And here he has done so to suit his own purposes, the lofty purposes of his creativity. So Milton's originality in his use of this invocation part is like that of a fusion of the pagan and that of Christian elements together. So here you can find out the classical epic test as well as new Christian test. Milton's portrayal of Saturn is another unique exhibition of his character alienation. The characters of the motivations of the desires, Saturn has been led astray by excessive pride and belief in his own power over God's power. So the characterization of Saturn is the another point that has been discussed in John Milton's Paradise Lost. For the students who is reading John Milton's work for the first time, his poetry is admittedly difficult, you know. There are many references to obscure biblical and mythological people and references and incidents. Milton's language is also high flown, deliberately literary and far from common or natural understanding. So when you are approaching John Milton, you must study in reference to those classical texts at least you need a teacher or a guidebook. Once these difficulties are overcome, the student can recognize why Milton is great. First, you have to uh, take in simple words that he sees uh, a kind of a, a great approach to literature. Why? Because Milton's subjects are lofty and magnificent. As his languages. The conflict that we find in this Paradise Lost is the conflict of Saturn and God, the evil and good. So uh, apart from the reader's own experience is one that is known is basic to all the religious thoughts that are common in other subjects is also being paralleled here. The theme of Samson Agonistes for example is closer to this categories. Yet the agony and the final triumph of the blinded Samson are tragic and sublime. So the references of the Saturn's predicament and the conflict inherent is to be understood from references. Second, Milton tells an engrossing story. Action is swift and events are exciting. The characters that you will find in Paradise Lost are human and believable. Indeed, many critics have felt that Milton made Saturn too much human. So you must have to study Saturn from human part, apart from the gods, deities or the devils, you have to find out. Even if you see the full parts of Paradise Lost, you will find the endings of this um, great epic poem is lifelike. Despite tragedy and death, life itself goes on. 
in Milton's epic, you will find an epic ending. In fact, a balance is restored and calm prevails after the full circle of the epic reading. Life, not death, is triumphant here. Must remember these words. Milton's works was later criticized by such authors as English poet William Blake and American born English writer T.S. Eliot. John Milton's Paradise Lost, which was published in 1667, is still, till date, considered the greatest epic poem of early modern English literature. In fact, I am once again focusing you to read the first 26 lines from the book, which explains the origin of the conflict between God and Saturn. And Milton's portrayal of Saturn is unique, a character with real motivations and desires. And what's the purpose of writing this great epic? Why the Saturn is being glorified in first few sections? So Saturn is led astray by excessive pride and belief in his own power over God's power. In the first few lines of the poem, Milton follows the conventions of the epic poems of invoking the muses, the Greek goddesses that inspired poets, musicians, philosophers. And um, here he explains his purpose in writing this great poem. So when you are reading invocations, the design of writing the Paradise Lost is quite exposed or explained. Milton's uniqueness with regard to his invocation to the muse in Paradise Lost is twofold, thematic and technical. He modifies the traditions of classical and pagan invocation to make a uh, fertile fusion of the Christians with the classical and spiritual uh, with the blending of nationalistic ideals. Uh, so uh, here in invocation part you will find particularly the design, the thought content as well as the very matrix by which Milton makes the full circle of his epic poem Paradise Lost. Again notably one point, the declamatory delivery of certain speeches evident in a voice like the sea has a profound effect on the lightning begging of fallen angels. No other epic hero, including the heroes of the Iliad, Odyssey, Divine Comedy, are as of, the, of their demagogic power as Saturn is. Now, when you are reading Paradise Lost, consider with reference to the list of Milton's use of traditional epic devices, paraphernalia, canopies, features, qualities. Now, when you are reading John Milton's, particularly Paradise Lost, you must remember the whole circle of Milton's poetical works. It includes Camus, Lycidas, Allegro, Second Penciler also. Of course, Paradise Lost, then again Paradise Regained, Samson Agonistes, and many of his sonnets, religious sonnets. His pamphlets also include of reformation touching church discipline, the doctrine and discipline of divorce, of education, Ariopagetica, the tenure of kings and magistrate. All these books that you can find out here, you must understand the basics of his writing content or the conceptual writing of this part in summary at least. It will lead you better understand the very concept by which Milton paints down all these works. So don't fear Paradise Lost as it is a full circle of understanding Milton's life as well as Milton's full design of writing a classical epic. Understanding Saturn's character and the inherent conflict in Paradise Lost is a must study for you to better comprehend this classical text. So like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get this kind of post which will lead you further into the studies of 
other literary pieces. So, bye-bye now. Thank you.